The maid looked around vainly after a look around the deadly poison quietly sprinkled into the dessert, and as if nothing had happened, the vial of medicine hidden in the corset. After a simple tidy up, she brought her to the table, and before she could bring it to the object of poisoning, she was grabbed by the Prince Peter on the side. The waitress took the opportunity to talk with Sophia, not moving to transfer the dessert to Sophia's plate, only to have Peter say he also wants to eat orange dessert. Sophia said she could share it with him and handed it to her fiancé Peter the next second. When the waitress watched the prince about to bite into a piece of dessert and fainted nervously in place, Peter suddenly remembered his pet dog and immediately put down the dessert and ran to play with the dog. Round and round all morning, the dessert was spiked or into Sophia's stomach. The unaware girl finished her breakfast and started studying hard again, hiring a professional Russian teacher to learn the pronunciation of the Russian language word by word, and then started practicing the Russian court etiquette. The day Sophia was reviewing the words she had learned was a day when she had a full schedule of days waiting for the wedding. When she arrives at the portrait of Peter the Great, she picks up the great sword forged by the emperor's own hands and is confronted by the empress and Peter on their walk. And when her fiancé sees it, he snatches it up like a child and plays with it like a toy. His frivolous attitude angered the queen again, and the girl took the knife away and put it back then talked to them about her father's story, full of despondency and anger. Sophia praised Peter the Great in fluent Russian, and then went on to praise the Queen in passing. Her offhand ambition pleases the equally ambitious Elizabeth. However, the mother, who has just escaped poverty, is enchanted by the world and flirts with the handsome court painter, which is seen by her daughter. Sophia runs to confront her about why she betrayed her father and her mother with a demented laugh, confesses outright that she has never loved her husband, simply because she prefers rough men to polite ones. Sophia believed in love and pursued it, but her mother's words were like a curse that she could not get rid of, and soon she did not have the energy to think about it anymore. The poison from the maid begins to take hold of her body, and her pale face causes everyone to talk. Sophia stumbles back to her room and faints on the bed, unresponsive. The maid finds out and immediately goes to bring an imperial doctor. He pretended to give her a bloodletting treatment, and then fed back to the queen and the ministers, saying that Sophia was suffering from a hereditary disease, and that there was nothing he could do according to the current medical level. Elizabeth, half-heartedly convinced by his words, immediately summoned the ministers to carry out a secret investigation, determined to find out the truth about Sophia's illness but because the drug was only administered once, and because of Sophia's superb immunity, her condition gradually begins to improve. Seeing that things are not going well, Imperial Doctor finds the lover who administered the drug in the first place and asks her to poison the dessert again, and then she will take her away with her. Overwhelmed by love, the woman decides to take the risk of continuing to poison people. The faint-hearted maid breaks the tableware frightened by the sound of the ceramic hitting the floor, but she adjusts her emotions and picks up the dessert again, trying to risk poisoning Sophia again. Only this time the plot is discovered. Another waitress notices her abnormality and pulls out an orange from her pocket to tempt Sophia, who sees it and rejects the orange jelly, saying she would rather eat fresh oranges. The woman who was caught in the plot was furious and chased after the maid who was in her way to vent her temper. As soon as she left the house, she slapped her heart and fell to the ground without relief, and finally gave her a ruthless kick. The Imperial Doctor, in a panic, tells her that the plan has not only failed, but may have aroused the suspicion of the ministers, and pleads with her beloved to get her out. Imperial Doctor immediately said he had arranged for a carriage and after coaxing the silly woman away smoothly, he wrote a letter to kill the lady in waiting. When the lady-in-waiting arrived at an inn with the carriage, she passed the letter to the innkeeper, and in the night, she was killed. At the same time in the Russian palace, Imperial Doctor was also destroying the letters to and from France, but he was a step too slow in doing so. He was caught by the guards who came with troops to search for him, and all the treasonous letters were sent to the Empress. Elizabeth ordered that he be stripped of all his property and that he be punished with a painful sentence. Sophia's health gradually began to improve, and also received the news that Peter was coming to visit her. 
and she ran to the dressing mirror with joy at the knowledge. She scrambled to start dressing up, not wanting to give Peter the impression that she was unkempt. Only this man was not worth the effort. Peter had never entered his fiancée's ward during the early days of her illness when life and death were uncertain. When the guards persuaded him, Peter said that he would only have the chance to marry the Polish princess if Sofia died, and that he only agreed to visit Sofia now because he did not want to be scolded by his aunt. True enough, as soon as he arrived at his fiancée's ward, he kept a deliberate distance from Sofia, and then said strange things. I don't like your portrait. After he made the girl cry and upset, he brought her another placating gift and invited Sophia to go to the theater with him. The girl in love for the first time is tormented, and she does not know how to please him. She prepared to surprise herself to please her fiancé and pushed him to the sandbox. After unblinding the black gauze, the man was instantly attracted by the gift in front of him. She slowly squatted down and looked at it levelly. A whole set of exquisite military dolls in formation were presented on the sand table. He had never received such a heartfelt gift, and he complimented his fiancée. You're beautiful and thoughtful, and if it weren't for my aunt, everything would be different. He picked up the violin he had brought along and played beautiful music himself to thank his fiancée, and Sophia smiled happily and brightly in the joyful atmosphere. The arrival of Queen Elizabeth was the climax of her jubilation. It won't be long before you get married. The engagement date was set, something Sophia had been dreaming of. But the Queen brought her an even bigger surprise when she chose a new name for Sophia, Ekaterina Alexievna, the surname of Elizabeth's mother. The Empress then took out a magnificent necklace and personally helped Ekaterina put it around her neck telling her to forget her past poverty and misery and start a brand new life. She achieved a reversal with just one trait, careful observation and love of thinking. That day, Ottoman's new ambassador brought their country's national treasure. The moment the jewelry box was opened, the blood-colored jewel emitted a dazzling light, and everyone stretched their necks to peer at the real treasure and was lost in its glory, except Sophia who paid attention to Peter's performance. She then thought of the day at the theater when Peter was holding a toy longsword and was kicking in the right direction, imitating the Prussian king on parade. Sophia understood his hobby and thought of an idea to please her fiancé. When the party was over, she hurried to the street to find the most experienced blacksmith in the area. Но чтобы оружие мундиры были как настоящие. Ружья из сабли и железа и палеты из золота, лица, лица, чтобы у каждого свое. All the details of the dolls she took into account meticulously explained to the master. She hoped to succeed and get the approval to complete the wedding ceremony soon. The method of coaxing a child with Peter really achieved results. To achieve the desire to Katarina and what will be the fate of the challenge.